Hey everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to Mask Monday. Happy Mask Monday and happy 4th of July. Um, hope everyone is doing well and that you're enjoying the day if you don't have to work today. Um, I am off today, clearly. <laughs> Ricky, guess what? Has to work because of course he does. He asked for the day off and originally was told he was going to get it. And then when he went to work on Friday, when the schedule comes out for the next week, they had him on the schedule. So I don't have any plans for today. So I'm just going to relax, I guess. Um, maybe do a little bit of housework. Not going to do too much. <laughs> I'm disappointed. We bought, or I bought um, tickets for, there's a... a very small baseball league. It's called the Northwoods League and it's um, not professional baseball. It's like college students that play and there's a, a team that plays here. They're called the Lakeshore Chinooks and they play in a suburb that's north of here and they have a really awesome stadium on a college campus and we go to the games a couple times a year and they have fireworks tonight and so last week they had a special for four dollar seats which is awesome. Uh, they're not normally that expensive anyway. I think they're like less than $10. But anyway, um, I bought tickets and we were going to watch the game and then watch the fireworks and now he has to work. So I'm not upset about the money because even with their fees, it was like $11 and change. So that's not a big deal. It's just the fact that we couldn't, can't go because he has to work tonight. So um, he felt bad. And the same league has another team that's in Kenosha, which is about 45 minutes south of us. And they had a game yesterday with fireworks. So Ricky bought tickets for that. So we went because he didn't work yesterday on Sunday. So we went to that game when we saw the fireworks after the game. And that was fun. Um, so, you know, at least we still got to do something <laughs> for the weekend. But, yeah, I'm disappointed. Um the game was fun. Uh, the home team won. We don't really care. <laughs> like, we just go just to get out of the house and enjoy the, you know, the weather was beautiful. And, and even when the sun went down, it wasn't too cold. It was very nice. But the people sitting next to me, <laughs> we were in the, the front row of our section. Um, and so there's a concrete barrier and we were right on the first base side, kind of down the, like the foul line. Not quite in the outfield, like about halfway between first base in the outfield but awesome seats because we're you know front row this lady had her feet up on the concrete barrier in front of us which I guess but you know she's barefoot and I don't know about you but like I think my own feet are kind of cute because I take care of them but I don't necessarily want to see other people's feet that close to me like the seats are you know it's a baseball game so the seats are right next to each other but she wasn't sitting with her feet straight she was angled this way because this is where the action was, was off to our left. So her feet were kind of encroaching on my space and I was trying to eat. And then, you know, every time I look up, I see this lady's crusty feet in front of me and I'm just like, really? So at one point I put my feet up hoping she'd get the hint, but she did not. And yes, I could have asked her, but I didn't want to, I don't know. I try not to be that way. So instead I do like subtle passive aggressive stuff instead of speaking my mind. And at one point Ricky offered to switch seats with me and I'm like, well, no, that's, you know, that's not, I didn't want to do that either. But anyway, it, it was just more of an annoyance. It didn't take away from me having a good time. I'm just like venting, I guess, but I'm just like, have some courtesy for people around you. People are so selfish. It just seems like, like I've been at airplane on airplanes where the, my seatmate next to me puts their feet up on the seat in front of them. Like it's a footrest and they don't have any shoes or socks on. I'm like, that's disgusting. When did this become like normal behavior? You're on a, at a beach. Obviously you're expected to see bare feet, but you know what I mean? Like I, I get it's summertime, but there's no reason why her feet couldn't have been on the ground, why they had to be up and then closer in front of me. It's not like they were off to in front of her. Her feet were almost in front of me. They were totally encroaching on my space. But anyway, enough about that. <laughs> so that was my, my experience yesterday. The fireworks were really fun. They were short because, you know, it's just a small little league and um, but it was really nice and we had a nice drive home. We stopped and got some food and, and as we were driving home, we could see all the fireworks from all the like local parks and stuff when we were on the freeway. So that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so I don't have any plans for tonight. I'm just going to let the tickets go, I guess. Uh, some people were like, bring somebody else with you. 
Okay, I'm 50. Most of my friends are 50. Do you think my friends are just sitting around at home with nothing to do today? They all have families and they're doing stuff with their families. Like, I don't know any one person that I could bring. All my friends are either married or they have, you know, kids or grandkids. Like, they're not going to want just one other person to come with me to a game. My parents are too old. They wouldn't be able to walk the distance from the parking lot to where the seats are. I, I don't have anybody else to whatever. So I'm letting the tickets go. I did ask a few people if they wanted them, but again, nobody wants just two tickets. You know, if we had like four, I know several people that have, you know, I, I have some younger friends that have younger kids that would go, but not for two tickets, but whatever. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> Maybe a little bitter. His job does this to him all the time. They're like, well, they didn't want to give him a three day weekend because he was off Saturday and Sunday. But he didn't need to be off Sunday. He didn't have a baseball game. He had one scheduled for Saturday and ended up getting postponed. And I told him, I would rather have you work on Sunday and then have Monday off. And he offered to trade places with the person that had off yesterday, but they said no. So whatever. Okay. <laughs> Enough about that. Let me show you my friend mail that I got. I am so sorry for the rambling. I got a card from Susan Wallace, whose channel is Susan Just Making It or Susan's just making it, sorry. And she makes these cards. This is that washi tape, washi tape. I can never remember how to say that. I should look it up before I start filming. Okay, uh, let's see if I can open this. This was in my P.O. box waiting for me the other day. Ugh. She makes the prettiest cards. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, there's something inside here. Okay, I just peeked. I just want to make sure it wasn't something that was going to fall out. But look at that. That is so pretty. Lovely lilacs. Lilacs are my favorite. Well, besides lavender. Okay, so it said... Aw. She... I'm <laughs> sorry. Look at that handwriting, by the way. Gorgeous. Okay, she said, Laura, I know that you weren't sure how you felt about hitting your last birthday milestone. Just a little something to remind you that no matter how old we get, there's still a little kid inside. That is true. Oh, there's still a little kid inside all of us. I saw these and thought of you. Bring out your younger side and have fun with them. I hope you're doing great and enjoying your summer. Susan. Susan's just making it. So, look what she sent me. You know I love my Hello Kitty. And these aren't stickers. These are temporary tattoos. Because and the only reason why I knew that is because it said right here. It's the instructions of how to put them on. Oh, my goodness. I'm totally going to do that. You know, I have a couple of just small tattoos. And they're in places like they're on my hip. Um, Just because I got them when I was like in my 20s. And back then it was still kind of like a stigma to have tattoos, so I wanted them to be somewhere where I could cover them up if I, you know, you know what I mean, like, if I had a job interview that was always like, oh, you don't want to have visible tattoos, blah, blah, blah. Nowadays, nobody cares, which I think is a good thing, but anyway, if I were to ever get another tattoo, I'd probably get a Hello Kitty, but look at how cute those are. They are adorable, Susan. Oh my God, I love them. You know, I think I'm going to put one of these on, and then, like I said, if I ever get a tattoo, I will pick one of these as inspo and I'll get it like right here who cares it's 2022 you can get tattoos now they don't it's not like you know like it was back back in the day I think they're are they all the same no they're different oh my goodness okay I'll just show you guys oh they're so cute I forgot to show you what masks I'm wearing because I went on that rant about the 4th of July so I am so sorry oh that is so cute. <laughs> God, those are adorable. And I think there's one more sheet. Oh my gosh, there's three more. Okay, let me try to go through it quicker. Just wanted to show you guys all the sheets. These are so cute, Susan. Oops, upside down. Can you hear that? It's my neighbor, just got home. He always blares his music in his car. Oh, those are so cute. Thank you, Susan, you are so sweet. Go check out her channel. I will link her in the description box below. Um, the mask I'm using is this Pure Lease Coconut and Rice Sheet Mask. I got this from Mary from Mary Catherine Loves Cats. Thank you, Miss Mary. Um, this is supposed to stay on for 15 to 20 minutes, and I've had it on for probably about five before I started filming, so I'll leave it on for a few more minutes. 
And then underneath that, I had these Grace and Stella eye masks that I got from Busy Beauty Box. So, all right. I was going to talk about a couple of things besides my rant. Um, I got this in Influencer, this JLo Beauty. But there, there was a three-piece set that had a daytime serum, a moisturizer, and uh, an eye cream. And then this. So I got like four things to review. This stuff has changed my skin. I am not even kidding. And uh, this is not sponsored. I mean, I did get this free for review, but it's for my honest review. And they're, it's not like influencers watching this. Freaking love this stuff. So it's called that Overnight Hustle. It's an AHA and BHA resurfacing serum. And I use this at night, every night after I wash my face. I put this on and then I put on like whatever moisturizer I'm using. I love the other stuff that came, that came with it too. But I'm telling you, this has changed the texture of my skin. I haven't been breaking out as much. My skin feels smoother. And I've used like, you know, alpha hydroxy stuff. I tried to use, you know, like, like spray serum or spray like mist, like toner mist. I don't think they penetrate as well as this stuff. So I think this is like $58. So I'm hoping maybe I can do some research and find an alternative for this for when I run out of it because I like it that much. It literally has changed my skin. It feels so much smoother. So I wanted to show you guys that. And then I have just a quick haul. <laughs> it's not really a haul, but I got two things from Ulta that I ordered online and like, you know, went and picked them up in the store. So I have... I use the Paul Mitchell um, Tea Tree Shampoo, the Lemon Sage, and I'm almost out of the liter that I bought like a year ago. And I've been dying for it to go on sale and it hasn't. So they had some other liters on sale. So I bought this Kenra, um, a volumizing shampoo. I have plenty of the conditioner left because I do actually use more shampoo than I use conditioner. So I'm gonna try this because um, stuff for volume is what works best on my hair because I have an oily scalp. So I find that that's what works best for me. So I'm gonna try that. This was on sale for like $21. And it's, yeah, it's a liter, 33.8 ounces. And then um, I had finished up this cleansing balm that I was using and I love it. And I think it just works better for my skin than like a Meissler water. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So Ulta had their own brand. So I bought this. We will try it. Healthy hydration cleansing balm. You know, I use this as like a first step in a double cleanse. So I will let you guys know what I think of it once I try it. So I got that. And then I have a tiny little Bath and Body Works. Again, haul is in quotes. Um, I bought this during their sale. Um, they had their semi-annual sale and they have different things on special each day. And for my mom's birthday, she asked for some wallflower refills. And it was the day she asked for it, like the next day they went on sale for $3.50. And I thought, score. So bought her a bunch and then I got some for myself. So I got um, turquoise waters. And all of these scents are like really clean, which is what I like with the exception of one. And I'll explain that in a minute. So I got turquoise waters. I got salt water breeze. And I like these for when I'm not burning candles or wax melts. Um, just to have going, you know, because I've got cats and a dog and, you know. <laughs> got another turquoise waters because I really liked that one. I bought, I bought three of those. I gave my mom one and then I kept two. Um, rain kissed petals. This one is really, really nice. And then this one I grabbed by mistake. <laughs> I think I thought it was probably this one. I think I thought it was Rain Kissed Petals and I meant to grab two of them. This is mahogany teak wood and it smells like men's cologne. Um, you can kind of smell it through the thing. So I'm not really thrilled about it. And yes, I could go exchange it, but I'm not going to. I'll just put it in the bedroom or something or maybe even in the office um, where I won't have to smell it all the time. <laughs> But they're normally $7.50 and they were on sale for $3.50 the day that I got them. So I got all of those and plus like, I think I got my mom like six of them or something. And then they had some candles that were 75% off. So I got her one that was sparkling mimosa. Most of them were like their Christmas scents. And yes, I know it's a good time to buy them when they're on clearance because they were like super cheap. But I just, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood to get Christmas stuff. But I got myself this eucalyptus rain and it smells amazing. Just like really, really clean and fresh, which is what I like. So that's my tiny little Bath and Body Works haul and my little Ulta haul and my friend mail. And Susan, I'm telling you, I freaking love these temporary Hello Kitty tattoos. There are one, two, three, four, five, 
six sheets of them. <laughs> I'm so excited. I will be wearing these and I don't care what anybody thinks. I will wear these to work. I am not that way. <laughs> So they are super, super cute. So thank you. I will link Susan below and I will link Mary below because she gave me the sheet mask. So I'm going to go take this off and go on about my day and I guess do some errands around the house since, you know, not doing anything for the 4th. But I hope you guys are doing something fun for the 4th and have a great day. And also I want to quick mention, um, I did order the ColourPop Mystery Box it was supposed to come on Saturday, and because the USPS is being a butthead, they said they couldn't deliver it, that there was no access to the delivery location. Ironically, we got regular mail that day, and there's no construction on our street, and there was nothing blocking our sidewalk or my house or anything like that. So there was absolutely no reason for them not to deliver it other than whoever had that package just decided maybe to take a long weekend. I don't know, because we got regular mail that same day. So... I'm hoping it'll come tomorrow and then I'll probably have the video up either tomorrow or Wednesday. So watch for that. And also Wednesday is when my giveaway ends. It was just a teeny little giveaway in my last panning project collab video is for two little um, palettes, BH palettes. So I will link that in the description box below too if you want to get in on that. It ends on Wednesday at noon. So you want to check that out. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Mask Monday and a great fourth. See you on my next one. Bye-bye.